Thou must needs carry on without me. The path to Nabatha Rang lieth open. Whilst thou travelest thither to the south, I would apprise Mistress Alize and the others of our progress. As circumstances permit, I will thereafter rejoin the hunt for the remaining light wardens. Magnus, will the gate close immediately after the trolley passes through? No, it will stay open until someone closes it manually. Built that way to prevent any untimely accidents. Then you and the others can meet us in Nabath Areng, after giving the Yomorans the slip. with your goodbyes, I suggest you grab hold of something. Be a shame if you took a tumble. The tracks beyond the gate aren't in the best of shape, so the trolley can only go as far as Ammalik. Speed. the gate. Stubborn old swine, aren't you? One who has mastered Gukumons fears not the blackest pit or the fieriest hell. Your deeds in the east did not go unnoticed. Long have I lain in wait, and sure enough, you did not disappoint. Had you only sworn fealty to Lord Vorthry, you'd have no cause to skulk about like frightened animals. You will remain as you are while I dispatch these villains. No. I won't. I won't let you. You forget to whom you speak. Speak. Who armed you? Trained you? Fought and killed a thousand Sin Eaters with you? 
But when you were inevitably cut down and lay lifeless in my arms, who sought out your successor to carry on the futile struggle again and again? We seek to bring peace to what is left of this shattered land, while these mad fools would only bring further chaos down upon us. Do not be deceived, child. Only by Lord Vorthry's hand will this dying world know a sliver of salvation. I don't know about the world, but I never asked to be saved. However much it hurts, and however hard it gets, it's my life, and I want to live it on my own terms! And those mad fools you want me to abandon! The ones I've traveled with, fought with, and may one day die with. They feel the same. So no, I will not be deceived! No matter what you say, I refuse to believe it's all for nothing! They're everything to me! All I have, and all I need. And I would gladly do anything for them! Let us pass! Or kill me! I'm not leaving here without them. How dare you! Very well. If you would cast your lot with villains, then you shall share their fate. I heard what you said, and I'm sorry for all the things I've left unspoken. You have to go! Now! Tancred, no! Go! Do what you came here to do! I'll not have you waste that newfound resolve on me. I leave her in your hands. Hurry! Not another step. Your fight is with me. You think yourself her protector? <laughs> As if a whelp like you could be a better father to her than me. You would have her suffer and die. I would spare her that fate. That is not for you or anyone else to decide ever again. Not a single day goes by that I don't think about all that you have given me.
countless memories and moments I took for granted. Gods, you grew up so fast. But you had to, didn't you? For those you had lost. For those you could yet save. A world teetering on the very brink of oblivion. For which you gave your everything. Without hesitation. Your kindness. Your compassion. Your love. Then and now. One last time, with a little help. I'm so proud to have been a part of your life. Oh, Minfilia. Shall stay the flood. But this is what I want. It's my sacrifice to make. Your time has not yet come. When all hangs in the balance, you must give them hope. This place. is a meeting long overdue. 
Full glad am I that we may finally speak. My dear, sweet child, yours is a burden none should ever be forced to bear. Such pain and suffering you have endured, yet still you came. For this and more, I thank you. I've lost count of the times I've almost given up. If people hadn't helped me every step of the way, I never would have made it. Yet here you stand, resolved. Now, tell me your heart's desire. To defeat the Sin Eaters and bring this world back from the brink. The remaining Wardens have hidden themselves from us. But with the power of the Oracle, I thought we might be able to find them. Indeed you could. Their radiance would be unmistakable. But know, my child, that the power you seek will come at a price. We stand now at the crossroads. A decision must be made. Tis only natural to be afraid, to hesitate. But for your many trials, you have grown stronger and wiser. And with the love and support of those you hold dear, you have grown to love yourself. The flood has washed away so much of this world. So many people, and places, and possibilities, and all the heroes who fought to protect them. Yet here the Scions are, trying so, so hard to help those few of us who remain, and seeing how tirelessly they work, how completely committed they are to the cause. I can't help but believe. I want to do more than just watch and cheer. I want to make a difference. I want to help them like they helped me, and maybe even inspire others to do the same. Coming together, providing for one another. That's the only way forward I can see. Since all of our heroes are gone, We'll just have to make heroes of ourselves. Tis a beautiful, wonderful dream. One we share. Though my power was all but spent in staying the flood, I prayed this final act would give hope to those who survived. self-same hope lives on in you. It gives me comfort to know that the future is in capable hands. If ever you should falter, remember this. No one, however powerful, is immune to the whisperings of doubt and despair. Do not give in to them. But do not deny them, either. Look instead to the light within, that you may continue to serve as a beacon to others.
Thank you, Menphilia, for believing in us, for believing in me. Dearest friend, no words can express my gratitude to you for keeping her safe in these tumultuous times. You are a hero to us both. But not even the most valiant heroes can stand alone. Only together may you change the fate of two worlds. There you are. We were worried. Really? She wasn't the one that nearly got herself killed. It's a good thing Arianger called on us when he did. You were at death's door when we found you. But thanks to your timely ministrations, I was not obliged to walk through it. Minfilia? You saw her. I know I haven't exactly been pulling my weight up till now, but that's all going to change starting today. I'll do whatever it takes, whatever it takes to make Minfilia's dream a reality. I can track the Light Wardens now, maybe even help you fight them. I'm glad you're back. You don't have to say that, you know. But I want to. Your family. How else would I feel? She will need a name. A name? A name of her own. I would not have her walk in the shadow of another any longer. And I think it a fitting tribute to our departed friend too. At the mention of Minfilia, I would remember the woman who preserved our fellowship when all seemed lost. Do you remember what you were called before you were taken to your room? I'm sorry, I don't. I couldn't have been very old when it happened. Then we must think of a new name. Suggestions? If the lady herself has no preference, I think the honor should rightly fall to Thancred. 
After all they have been through together, he is practically a father to her. Well spotted! I'm so glad you're here to explain these things. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. What about... Green? Ah, blessing in Fae. Wait, doth this mean thou wert listening when I delivered my lectures on the Pixies? Not exactly, but that one word made an impression. Of course, if it's not to your liking, I can think of something else. Re. Yes, I rather like the sound of it. Thank you. That settles it then. Welcome aboard, Reen. I won't let you down. <laughs>